In this video, I will show you how to catch plenty of big chub on a tiny float. Let's give it a shot. Let's try very close to that kind of a bank, or as close as I can get. No, nothing. Little bite, maybe. Yep. Ooh, did you see that? That's a, that's I think a bubble, guys. That will be or a very big chub. It's going back into that bank. That will be a big chub, guys. Probably five, six pound chub. It's still digging, you know. Please don't come off. Managed to pull him out. That's a very, very big chub, guys. Don't want to lose this one. It's mine. I know. Maybe it is a fiver. Maybe it is a fiver. If it's not, it will be very, very close, guys. Right, guys, there are two main elements to be successful in this kind of fishing. The first one, obviously, being the technique. So you will be casting your float rig upstream and if you will be wearing waders it will help you as well because then if you can imagine the fish will be looking upstream and you will be coming from behind so then they won't be able to see you and get spooked from you as well and then you will cast your rig in their right side and then they will nail it. That's the theory anyway. The second bit of the puzzle is a tackle, obviously. So some of the, or some parts of the tackle is really crucial for this all to work. And that's the braid, fine braid and tiny float. So I will go through everything. The rod or the reel is not as important, but I would say go with a shorter rod because you will be casting a lot whilst using this technique. For example, I am using Drennan Puddle Chucker F1 Carp Waggler at 10 feet, so about 3 meters in length. I'll try to show you this rod or the label on this rod. Also, I chose a tiny reel that's a 2000 size Diva Fuego. And all the setup balances perfectly, like almost like a lure rod, ultralight lure rod. So now the important bits for the main line you want to be using fine braid up to 0.10. I am using 0.08 so very very fine braid. You need that fine braid and then it will enable you to cast very light rig quite far away against the flow. Then the float right I'm using one of them Drennan. I think they are called pole dibbers or carp pole dibbers. So basically that's a clear float which is not very easy to see for them big chub as well. And it helps. And as I say that's a 0.6 gram so tiny little float as you can see. And then you need to use a swivel. I'll try to get the focus on it as well because obviously you will be using big baits and if you would not use a swivel then you would get lots and lots of line twist and you don't want that. Then I have here a knot where I attached my braid to that swivel and then I have about probably 50-60 centimeters of 0.25 fluorocarbon line. Then I have four number eights here. We'll try again to get the focus on them. Little group of them. Probably a couple centimeters apart. And then I have loop to loop and my hook bait. The hook link is 20 centimeters long made out of 0.20 fluorocarbon again. Now the business end, right? The hook is, I think it's called Guru XS Carp or Extra Strong Carp. 
and on the hook I have one of them quick pellet bands and in that pellet band I put a piece of muscle meat just like that so when the chub sees very big bait they just snatch it immediately so yeah as you can see very very light rig but that braid will allow you to cast this rig 20 to 30 meters depending on the situation and in most cases that will be more than enough to get those big chub fooled as you can see big muscle is going on it's a little bit frozen still because I'm just starting the session nice and simple into the pellet band and observe long cast because you know my bait is heavy even though my float is very light also I have upstream wind hope you saw that bite probably a smaller fish but I will get it see I can easily cast 20 meters upstream and that's ideal you just have to keep you know reeling in all the time it's almost like lure fishing you don't want to do anything with the with the rig at all as it's so light I under shot at the float so it would support the bait as well I will get one in a sec no not yet let's wade a little bit into the river so I would be able to to chuck along the along the bushes there and then I will get a take yeah, nice little cast. Come on, you chap, where are you? Show yourself. No, nothing. Let's wade in a little bit more. Nice little flick. Can't cast too far. I mean, I could I could fast uh, cast further, but as I have those. On, those branches above the water can't get very far okay nothing yet nice little cast I will get one now just observe he had some indication but did not take the bait fully not a problem not a problem as you can see my bait is durable I, I can have a few casts perfect cast I should get one now really really good cast you can see my float and here it is guys came off cannot believe ah Okay, let's try once more. Good little cast. Come on, you fish, just take it. That upstream wind is definitely helping. How about that, guys? Right at the end. Is it a small bubble? What is it? No, just a chublet. I mean, not a chublet, probably a good three pound chub. As I say, guys, easy fishing. You, you just know what you're doing and you'll catch fish like that all day long. He's mine. Beautiful. <laughs> no, he's not actually. Now he's mine. <laughs> yeah, old beast. <laughs> he was thinking, you know, he will get away as he was getting away from other anglers who were fishing in this exact pack just probably 20 minutes ago but yeah, did not see this presentation coming, you know float casted upstream nail just here, beautiful bubbles hook out yeah, about 4 pounds, guys 
really really old warriors this one is fantastic one what a start yes okay thank you yeah about four pounds thank you mr chubb <laughs> yes if you can catch just another one the best thing is that you are not spooking them because obviously as they say you are kind of coming from behind and then they are they are unaware you know of you this little technique as they say I kind of was thinking how to outsmart them and I came up with this little technique super light float light braid and you can cast upstream quite far that was perfect cast I should get one now and you want to keep finding you know but you don't want to to drag your float you want it to go like on a like on a natural pace you know but you want to have as tight the line between the rig and the rod as you can no nothing yet on this cast at least perfect cast come on you chub I should get one now it was very very good cast guys no nothing looked like a little bit but no missed my bait as well struck too hard my bad new bait and as, is, and as you can see I don't have anything else just like what I need the scorcher some bait and yeah that's it more or less I'm not feeding a thing as well as I say guys I would not do this kind of fishing like normally and I always say that when you fishing on the river oh little bite uh, when you're fishing on the stick float on the river you always need to cast downstream but again this little method goes goes against it completely because you almost lure fishing for the smart fish which are which are very spooky you know and in the shallow water as well obviously you could get them competing like introducing buckets and buckets of bait and you would catch a few but <laughs> some small fish was trying to eat the float but then I had a bite anyways so obviously there are a few more but most likely they figured out what I'm doing so I'll have to move and look for different fish Okay, last cast guys and we'll move somewhere else. They say it, this kind of fishing has many similarities to, to lure fishing. You are moving around, you are looking for the fish, You're catching active fish, biggest fish often as well. You are not feeding anything, just using what you have on your hook. No, yeah, let's go guys. This looks perfect guys, I'll try to cast just there and get my float under those bushes, like lots and lots of areas, you know, in this little peg, or a lot of spots to get a bite from, but we'll see. No. No. I think I was hoping to get a bite like you know before my <laughs> rig landed in the water almost but no got one now it's trying to get into the bushes but should should get him out see how effective this method is ridiculous not a big fish but nice chub you know on the float couple pounds it's mine see guys two casts and I have a fish on and very very likely I will get more from this little area come on Mr. Chubb stop stop it thank you that was easy right guys as they say just right tactics and in this little bit which is like being really pressured a lot by by over anglers to catch something like on like conventional conventional like stick float or feeder it's quite difficult actually a lot of people do blank here 
and when you introduce something different then you just fool them you know okay I'm pretty sure that I might get an overtake from here good cast did you see that my I did not even have to strike or anything just chucked it out and you know small chub bang perfect little fish wow stole my bait band it's fantastic fish just look thank you how about that for a cast I should get one now just casting downstream as well and here it is as I say sometimes you just if you have the chance you can cast downstream as well because those chub will be moving up and down up and down and if you you know can exploit upstream and downstream obviously you will double up your chances this amount of fish you will hook beautiful not a big fish a couple pounds lovely hooked nicely top lip Oh, maybe it's a three pounder or close to it anyway yeah more or less about three pounds I will give him beautiful went back a little like side cast and go deep into those how about that for a cast I should get a bite now from there that was perfect cast guys how I haven't hooked anything yet I don't know really don't know guys that was perfect cast but again, even though it has a cover, but I'm standing right next to them and they obviously, I caught a couple fish, they say a smart fish, they, they just moved somewhere else. Just cast there. Then little reel back, just to make sure that I'm not snagging on those branches. Those are fine, I will go under those ones, which is good. And I'm into another fish. What's that? That's a chub. Nice one. Decent chub. Very nice chub, guys. What's that? Will be number six chub, I think. Come on, keep on coming. Don't come off. Okay, I will come and get you. Yeah, that's a good chub, guys. That one, about four pounds. This one will be. Oh yeah, about. Oh no, I have a big hole in my in my net. Come on, Chub. No, no, don't do it, please, Chub. You will hurt yourself and will hurt my net as well. That's it. We have to replace the net. <laughs> nice, very fat one. Yes. Right, guys. That seems to be a, a killer spot just here, and all the presentation is very good. You just cast there if you won't get a bite which I didn't but you will get a bite just there and again if I would be using heavy float or something like that it would not work guys and now I got three or four bites from there already okay let's see if we can do it again nice little cast there no bite little drag back just to make sure that I'm not hooking those branches now i will will get a bite soon hopefully not yet no 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 nothing this time no probably caught everything i could which is not bad landed two fish and lost one but let's try once more little drag back almost like a lure fishing just you know you are Pres presenting your float and rig precisely and you know where your rig is exactly by looking at the float <laughs> that was good right at the end what's that a chiblet nice one 
I was almost to, to reel it in, you know, and then just float, shoot back. Nice one, not a big fish. Fantastic, yes! Splashed my face, happy with that. There is a tree on the left there, it should hold some fish there, I believe. <laughs> really some smaller ones are attacking my bait. Cannot believe, missed three or four bites in this cast. <laughs> yeah, some small fish are attacking me. Ooh, see guys, I hooked a decent chub where I did not expect it almost, you know. It's a decent chub. I'm good three pounds. Come to daddy. Maybe not quite three, but good two, let's say, two plus. again just nicely beautiful it's brand new fish guys see that chub just went there let's see if we can catch one by casting more upstream it was good cast little pull and I got one not a bad fish either very good chub actually guys I think that is yeah that's a good chub please don't come off Ah, no, maybe not that big, but still, fantastic one to catch. Pound fish, maybe. Just look, deeper, a little bit hooked as well, but still. He's perfect fish, guys, just perfect. To catch him like any other way, today it would be very, very difficult. Thank you. Okay, it's the same procedure, guys. Let's extend the band. Bait goes in, well, okay, let's extend the band, bait goes in, let's port it, yeah, beautiful. He had a bite right on the drop. Nothing more. Okay, let's try to get under that tree branches. Not a bad cast at all. <laughs> Some smaller one attacked my bait. Okay, I need to cast a little bit above that tree, just so the flow would take my bait under the tree. Not the best cast, but we leave it there. Nope. Okay, let's try a better cast. Oh yeah, that's the one that wind picked up. Some fish try to eat my float again. No, nothing. Strange. I was thinking I will get a bite from there. Okay, let's try. Just there. Can't see my float. <laughs> little pull. Nice little cast. Should get one now. 
nothing yet, nothing yet, little bite, another one, and I got one. Not a big chub. Here it is. Splashed all over me. Yes, it's fantastic fish. Just look at the condition of this one. Hooked nicely, bubbles hooked. Thank you. He was not happy, guys. He was not happy. Okay, it's the same procedure. I already lost the number. I think I have. I am on like 12 chub or something like that. So probably an hour's fishing if that, and one baby bubble as well. And I'm saying probably I will get like 30 of them. Unless I will get lazy, you know. Can't see my float. Oh yeah, I can now. And I'm not still in the best spots, you know, where the biggest fish are hanging out. <laughs> no, nothing. Very good cast. Upstream I should get one from there. Just can't see my float and that wind. Oh. No, nothing. Okay, let's move a little bit. Let's try and there's a tree again. Very good cast, guys. I might get one now. Super fun fishing, guys. Just super fun. Different, I mean different. You won't see this kind of technique, I think, in any books or <laughs> elsewhere. Float casting upstream. But as you can see, guy, some guys fishing just upstream there. In that time, when I got three or four, maybe even more fish from from this little stretch, I did not see him catching anything. So it just goes to show, you know, that sometimes thinking about uh, outside of the box is a good thing. Now I will get one from there. I'm certain. No, nothing. Strange. Looked like a good cast and everything, but no. Okay, a couple more casts. Let's try very close to that kind of a bank. Or as close as I can get. No, nothing. Little bite, maybe. Yep. Ooh, did you see that? That's, a, that's I think, a bubble, guys. That will be or a very big chub. It's going back into that bank. That will be a big chub, guys. Probably five, six pound chub. It's still digging, you know. Please don't come off. Managed to pull him out. That's a very, very big chub, guys. Don't want to lose this one. Managed to pull him out. But still, the fight is not over because that's a very big fish, guys. From what I saw, that will be, they say, five pound, I think, chub. The monster. Still fighting. I know, maybe it's not that big, just very, you know, enthusiastic to escape. Still, it will be four plus, I think. It's mine. I don't know, maybe it is a fiver. Maybe it is a fiver. If it's not, it will be very, very close, guys. See how that fish, that was classic big chub action, tried, tried to do me in the bushes, you know. It is a five pounder, guys. Just look at that. Easy five pounds, easy. Long fish as well and chunky. 
He's a tank. He's a tank. Yes! I still have half decent hook bait from that last fish. Awesome. All right. Let's try once more. But you saw where that chub was hiding, like right next in, like in shallow water, next to some like cover. You know, this is where you won't be able to access them, and if like by any other method, I mean lure and anything else, they will ignore. And if you will chuck a feeder next to them, they just will go 100 miles away from there. But with super light float, they you know they just don't care too much about it. That was an old big chub. Okay, a couple more checks, and we'll go above that guy. Don't want you know to to start wading in his peg. Probably he's not too happy about about me getting all the big fish from here. Very long cast. I sh he had a bite. Ah, missed it. Okay, at least I know that there is at least one. Well, likely more than one, because when you get a bite from a chub, it means that there are more than one. As you can see, it's not a problem to cast. That was good. That chub just went with a bait almost. I noticed that, you know, after I did cast out that my line is going to the side. Nice little chublet. Not a big one, but fantastic one to catch on the float. Thank you. It's a good area. Should should be getting plenty of bites from here. I mean, I had a few, but nothing big yet. Ooh, maybe it is a big one. Just look how it's going. Oh, he's fast. It's the big fish, not too sure. Definitely not super small one. Feels like a good job, guys. Just a, even maybe it is a small bubble, but it's a little bit too fast. It's a bubble. Just going all over the place, this fish. Oh, it is a bubble, actually, I think. Yeah, it is a bubble, I think, guys. Small bubble. Just, yeah, we'll have to chase for them in that way. Come on, bubble, don't go under me. It will be faster, you know, if I will just try to scoop him that way. Where that fish went? <laughs> I mean, it's about, it's about like four four pound bubble, I think. <laughs> so I just don't want to be messing about too long with with them. Here he comes. <laughs> oh, they are strong. Those bubble. Is that it? Are you giving up, Mr. Bubble? No. Come on, just stop it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> see how strong those bubble. Got you. <laughs> uh, yeah, about four pounds, something like that. Been hooked recently, clearly. Good cast. Come on, you chub. Don't want really to hook a bubble, but... You will never know, you know? I mean, those bubbles, they are pretty fish, just... catching too many of them on other methods, just getting old a little bit. How about that for a cast? Should get one from here. No, cannot believe that was perfect cast, guys. <laughs> Hooked. So Feels like another bubble. Yeah. Or, or maybe not. Maybe just a bigger chub, not sure. 
No, it, it should be a bubble. Oh no, that's a decent job actually, nice one. Fantastic, yes! Really smashing it, guys, really smashing it. This one is not very big, but just was very, very angry just after I hooked them. But this job actually nailed very close, that was good. Thinking, you know, only Bubble will be stupid enough to be so close. But again, I'm coming from behind, guys. That's, that's the idea with this, you know, fishing. You are sneaking onto the fish. That's a big bait. I should get a big chub on it now. Good cast. As you can see, I'm always reeling with my reel because I, I want, you know, to have... That's definitely a bubble or a big chub. That fish is going through all the weeds it can find. Where is it? I don't even know. It is my float. Probably it will be a good chub, guys. Feels like a good chub. Ooh, yeah, it is. Nice one. Please keep on coming. Got you. <laughs> Beauty. Not super big one, but this one was, you know, very kind of angry. Come on, you beauty, show yourself. Got some scars. Oh, someone cannot believe how those anglers are doing that. Really, really not responsible. Wow. Okay, you beauty, I won't, I won't do anything else to you, but he's okay, I mean, he's feeding. Thank you. He's feeding, he's angry, he will be fine, but still, I can't believe how people are fishing for them and how they are unhooking those beautiful fish. So annoying, so annoying. I'm certain that there must be some, some more chub because that's a very, very good area. A little bit deeper, good flow, and here it is. Uh, what is that? Not sure, guys. Stays on the bottom. Not sure. What's that? Fall hook chub again, or it just tangled it? Oh, it just tangled himself. Just got you. Yeah, thinking what is happening, but just look. I mean, perfection, guys. This chub is a couple of pounds, but pure muscle and just perfect colors just hooked here it was tangled around just i mean insane smart fish but i was smarter this time thank you so what number 18 okay let's keep on going couple more well quite a few more if i really want to hit that 30 target but the the good numbers of them are in here so I should, I should get a few more, I'm certain, hopefully. Nothing here. Okay, let's, let's go a little bit opposite directions. I mean, most of the bites were there, but again, I was casting there, but let's try somewhere else, you know, if I will, and I had a bite just there as well, so it's good if I will start catching not only in one spot, that will be good, you know, so I'll be able to keep those fish happy for, for now and maybe catch one or two from like overline if you like. No nothing. The snag, go away. No. Okay, but I definitely had a bite there. Okay, let's try a little bit more upstream there. Oh, that went probably 35 meters. Ridiculous with a half a, well, 0 0.6 grams float and big bait, you know. It's a big bait what helps you to cast this kind of rig so, so far. Okay, can I get that fish now? Not sure. Yeah, I, I had another little indication, so there is at least one fish. But will I catch him? Not sure. Okay, let's put a fresh bait on. 
I think I can catch him. That fish tried to you know a couple times if I drop properly on its head, then it will have no other choice. Just take it. Okay, lovely. Some mad moorings going about their business. Decent cast. No. Those moorings are attacking ducks, I think, or something like that, yeah. They will take on to the swans in a minute, you will see. Another little indication, so there is a fish, but probably I won't catch him. It just, it's too smart for some reason, or just one fish, you know. When there is only one chub, it's difficult to catch them. Some fish just rolled there, very good sign. Changed the direction a little bit and I got a fish like instantly. That's a good chub, guys, I think. Please don't come off. Definitely feels like a good fish. As you can see, lots and lots of pressure. Wants to go into that weed bed. Not today. Ooh, that's a nice one. Close to four pounds this one will be. Nice one. I am, I am killing it, guys. What's that, number 19, I think, or something? Oh yeah, that's a good fish, guys. Where is that hook? Oh, unhooked itself in the net. Thank you. Right. Let's catch one. Good cast. Picking up the line, nothing yet, no, nothing yet. No. Right at the end, that was good. Right under my feet. Is it a small bubble or what, or a big chub? It's a chub, but not a very big one, still. A pound fish. Pound chabbit, just look at them. I mean, not sure if, if it's been caught ever. Brand new fish, thank you. Oh, -ho. let's try that corner. It's a bit too slow there. But just had a little bite. Nope. Okay, let's try once more. That was good. It's a decent chub. I think, or it's a bubble. No, it should be a chub. From what I saw, it will be a good chub. Please don't come off, Mr. Chub. Oh, yeah, that's a nice one. Good four pounds again. Come on, Mr. Chub, give back my hook bait. Oh, yeah, guys, four pounds easy. Four pounds plus. Fantastic. Okay, let's try a little bit closer to the other bank again. Nice, nice cast. I had a bite. They got a fish. What is that? What's happening there? Oh no, that fish is going under the tree. Can I get him out? Not too sure. Still on, still on. Not a big fish, just very, very enthusiastic to escape, but I, I managed to get him out. Just managed to get him out. Look, how lucky. Good fish. Again, about, I would say, a good, good three plus pounds. See? Fantastic one. Thank you. Really, really killing it, guys. What's that? Number 24, I believe. Something like that. Good cast. Come on, you chub. Just eat that muscle. No. No. Some small chubble just rolled there, but I looked at him and grabbed my... Did you see that? Come on! That pike was crazy! 
was trying to eat that chop, I just managed to lift him out. Phew, buddy. Sorry for that. I will chuck you somewhere, I don't know, just there. Maybe that pike won't get you. Did not quite see how big that pike was, but it was a decent one. <laughs> right, guys, I think time to call it. I can't believe how many big chub I caught today, and some of them were absolute tanks. I hope you enjoyed this short video. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.